aku udah sama cewek cantik sebelah aku Izella. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay Izella, can you please introduce yourself first? Uh, hi, I'm Izella. Uh, aku 13 tahun and I just released my new song Hello. Oh. <laughs> What is the song is actually about? Uh, the song is about like saying hello to someone. Um, with like no hesitations, just like, go up to them and like just say hello instead of just being scared or worried. Yeah. Okay, so it's basically about being brave to say hello, right? Yeah. Okay. Alex, uh, the song was made by Nelly Guslow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how do you feel about it? Like, you're collaborating with Nelly Guslow, the legend Nelly Guslow. How do you feel about it? Uh, it feels like really cool. Like I just, I don't think I understand like how good it is because like I actually never knew who Millie was until like we started collaborating but little did I know that my mom actually listened to her songs all the time and I'd be like oh what's this song and she'd be like this is blah 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 from Millie Guslow and then I'd be like oh and then my mom told me have you ever heard this song and I'm like oh yeah and she's like and then and then she was like that's lady you're collaborating with and I'm like oh wait I've listened to her songs before yeah oh do you know any Millie Guslow songs that you like Yeah, I like Bagai Kamlangit and uh, Bunda. How's the process of making this song? Yeah, the process of making the song was basically we met up with Melly and then um, we had like a couple of meetings and then um, uh, I gave her some ideas for the song and then uh, Turos Melly uh, became Hello and then, <laughs> and then after she wrote the song Hello, um, I recorded it in her recording studio and then we released it. Um, for the song, it took about uh, yes, yeah, at the Wulan for everything to come together, like the meeting up, like I said before, and then um, writing the song and then recording it. Yeah. Are you? Uh, do you can speak Bahasa fluently or just? Uh, I, no, I can't speak it fluently. But when I was little, I actually could. Like I was almost fluent. I was like basically fluent. But then, um, obviously, because like when I was little, my mom used to speak it to me all the time. And then I, I, I like I really like speaking Bahasa. Um, but then like we left um, Indonesia for like a few years, and then I kind of forgot all, all about it. And plus, um, I never like spoke it when I was out of Indonesia. So then now, I I'm only like like half half. Yeah. Okay. So is it hard for you to sing uh, your hello song? Um. It's uh, yes, the gift, but um, I can also speak a bit of Indonesian, which helps. But my accent still <laughs> like <Okay>. bleh, <laughs> and um, uh, pr pronunciation of my words aren't very good. But it's easier singing than talking. <laughs> oh, so it's easier for you to sing in Bahasa yeah. than talking in mm -hmm. Bahasa right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if uh, can you just sing your song a little for us? Okay. Uh, pertama melihat kamu malu-malu ku sapa hello hello. Oh, that's good. The pronunciation is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, most of my family um are Indonesian, like um my aunties and my cousins, and that's where I, like that's why I love coming to Indonesia because like I love seeing them and stuff. And like right now, my cousins just went to school like a week ago, and I'm like really upset because I wanted to spend more time with them. But yeah, I've got my cousins and my aunties and my uncles and stuff, and they all live in Indonesia. And but one of them, my aunt, one of my auntie and my uncle live in Saigon in Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't actually because um, I school in Australia and like. I have like some, but like they also school in Australia. Like my mum's friend's uh, daughter and son. Um, I was actually with them like a week ago or two. And then, yeah, like those are probably like my only friends in here. Oh uh, yeah, so Matilda the Musical is basically like a Broadway musical. And I played one of the Matildas, um, which is like the main role of the show. And yeah, that was really fun because it, it was touring too, and I got to go on like like a lot of like plane flights and like stay in a lot of different hotels. And I started Matilda when I was nine years old, and I wow. finished when I was 11, which was like almost two years or two years basically of me doing Matilda. Oh, so you were being a Matilda since you were nine. Yeah, and then until I was 11. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And uh, actually, who teach you? 
play in theater or you just uh, do it by yourself? Uh, I mostly just did it by myself um, because it's something that I wanted to do. My parents were kind of shocked. They're like, "Oh, okay," because uh -huh. um, they don't. My parents don't force me or anything, or like they don't push me. They just encourage me. Like they're like, "If you want to do it, that, that's fine." And then I was basically the one that led them into taking me to all the auditions. Wow, you have such a great parents, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I have a lot other a lot of other songs in English that I wrote. Um. And yeah, all of the songs I have in English, uh, most of them I did write. And, yeah, write myself. <laughs> you write it by yourself? Yeah, I'm a songwriter in English. <laughs> uh, I didn't work with Eminem, I just work like my, one of my um, uh, producers uh, slash songwriters um, uh, just work with Eminem too. Um, so, like I've never actually met Eminem or anything, I just like have contacts who, with the person who knows Eminem. So. Okay, so. Who is the biggest star you ever worked with? I ever worked with? I'm not sure. Like probably Michael J. He's oh. a producer, and um, not Michael Jackson. Oh, like, okay, okay. <laughs> um, is it like Michael J. Um, and um, he produced Celine. Uh, he wrote and produced some of Celine Dion's song and Eminem and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Star you want to collab with? Probably like Annie LeBlanc or Mackenzie Ziegler or Ariana Grande. Oh, stuff like that. Because they're all like, um, Mackenzie Ziegler and Annie LeBlanc are like upcoming artists, and Ariana Grande just has like such a powerful and like unique voice. So yeah. Oh, so you love Ari Ariana Grande? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. And lastly, what do you want to do? Do you want to release any other song in Bahasa? Yeah, I want to release um, maybe some more songs in Bahasa and some in English because it is my like original like language. And I maybe I want to do some. I want to um, keep going on with my triple threat, which is basically like dancing, singing, acting. I want to do more acting things, um, and more dancing things, more singing things, and possibly musical theatre. I want to do the whole thing. Uh, hello, um, uh, you can find the music video and lyric video on my YouTube channel, which is just Izella, and um, it is on basically all the music platforms, uh, Spotify, like Apple Music and stuff like that. And you can find. Um, more of like advertisements and like um, advertising on it on at my Instagram at Azalea Official. Terima kasih sudah menonton video ini. Jangan lupa subscribe dan aktifkan lonceng notifikasi supaya kamu nggak ketinggalan video terbaru dari Grid.